Two of the following videos are true while the other one is trash. Can you spot the fake? Season 2 Episode 4 Round 1, let's begin. First up, create a copper coil by wrapping it tightly around a tube. Then take a battery and place magnets on both ends. When you slide this battery through the copper coil, the battery accelerates through the coil until it reaches the end. You pour a glass of sparkling water and add raisins. Even though raisins are more dense than the water, bubbles form on the raisins which pull them up to the surface. Then the bubbles are released at the surface and the raisins fall again. This cycle continues, making a raisin lava lamp, so to speak. You attach a ball pump needle to a drill. The drill spins fast enough to compress the air through the needle. It won't help you inflate a ball, which needs a much higher pressure, but it can inflate a balloon. You've seen all three videos now. Pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. The battery with magnets does actually shoot through the copper coil. Adding magnets to both ends extend the positive and negative terminals of the battery. If you connected the two terminals with a conductive wire, the circuit would be complete and current would flow. That's what's happening when it's in the copper coil. When current flows through a coil in this direction, it produces a magnetic field like the one shown here, with the north and south poles marked accordingly. To make it easier to see how the battery moves, I'll represent the magnetic field produced from current running through the coil as a magnet. If I just place both magnets with the north pole facing the same direction, the battery won't move, as you can see here. Since north and south poles of magnets attract, you can see that both magnets on the ends of the battery are pulled toward the center and the forces cancel out. However, if I flipped one of the magnets and therefore reverse the polarity, this would work. The south pole of the flipped magnet is now repelled away from the middle magnetic field, which means the net force is now pointing in a single direction and the battery will move through the coil that way. If you flip the front magnet instead, you'd get the same thing but the opposite direction and the battery would go that way. Anyway, raisins also do act like this in sparkling water, which means this video is fake. The whole thing was put in reverse, but I tried to add normal sounding audio. Next up, it's time for round two. If you pour out most of the contents of a can, you can have just the right amount of liquid such that the can will balance on its side just like this. If you hang a weight from two strings with different lengths that are tied at the same height, each string supports half the weight of the object. Ignore any small effect from friction of the weight touching the wall. A small motor like this can be powered by batteries to make it spin. However, a motor uses the same principle as a generator. So if I instead hook this motor up to an LED, I can spin the motor to make it act like a generator and light up the LED briefly. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. This can balancing trick does work and it's surprisingly stable even with small nudges. And a motor like this actually can be used to light up an LED. That means this video was fake. Two unequal length strings do not carry the same load. To see why without doing any calculations, imagine that both forces were the same, and therefore the vectors would be the same size. You know that the 5 pound weight isn't moving to the left or the right, which means the forces acting in the horizontal direction must be balanced. If you visualize the only two forces acting in the horizontal direction, you'd see that they would not balance. The only scenario where the tension in each string could be the same is if both strings were the same length, then the forces in the x direction would balance. If you actually wanted to calculate how much more weight was carried by one string over the other, let's look at a scenario where the strings are lengths such that this angle is 60 degrees and this one is 30. Just as before I sum the forces in the x direction, to get these horizontal components I multiply by the cosine of the angle for each. Solving with algebra, I can see that the shorter string 2 experiences a force about 1.7 times greater than the longer string 1. If you want to take it a step further and calculate the exact tension in each string for this 5 pound weight, you'd need to sum the forces in the y direction. That means multiplying the total tension in each string by the sine of the angle and subtracting the weight of the object. Since I know the tension in string 2 is about 1.7 times that of string 1, I will substitute that in. Now solving for the tension in string 1, I can see that it's 2.5 pounds, meaning the force in string 2 is 4.33 pounds. Now it's time for the final round, round 3. This is an anti-gravity humidifier. This device uses a strong vacuum pump to suck water up from a bottom reservoir. And the way it's able to do so so slowly in a single drop at a time is what makes it look so cool. A piece of plastic shape like this can create the illusion of a hologram by placing it on top of your phone and playing a holographic video from YouTube. If you're stranded and need to make a fire with a battery and a gum wrapper, you're in luck. A gum wrapper like this one conducts electricity. If you rip off some of the wrapper to make a thinner strip, this thin part has a high enough resistance to generate enough heat to catch the gum wrapper on fire. You've seen all three videos now, pause to vote in the comments which one you thought was fake. If you thought this video was fake, you'd be right. 
It looks like the water droplets are slowly being sucked upwards and almost appear suspended in the air. However, looking at this device in slow motion shows a different story. Water droplets are falling from the top to the bottom and flashes of light are periodically lighting up the stream. The flashes are happening so quickly that your eyes in real time can barely notice them. Here's a comparison between three consecutive flashes. As you can see, it seems like the drops stayed in the same position or perhaps even shifted up slightly, even though they really have just fallen. If you instead take a hundred screenshots of consecutive flashes and play it as a GIF, you can see how this creates the illusion of upward flowing water. Thanks for watching till the end and I'll see you next time.